Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to solve application problems related to integers. Let us take an example here. Let's say you are working at a store for $10 an hour. You're working at a store for $10 an hour. And you work for, let's say you work, you work for eight hours, a eight hour shift for one day, eight hours shift for one day. How much money did you make for that day? This is an application related to multiplication of integers. So how do we, uh, what is it we need to know? Step number one. Step number one, we worked for one hour. When we work for one hour, we are getting ten dollars. We're getting ten dollars. If we, if you work for eight hours, how much money would you get? So you, we, we cross multiply this, or we can also write this one as eight hours times ten dollars divided by one hour. That is how we want to write it out. So the hours and hours cancels out leaving us with the amount of the answer or the solution we should get it in a dollar amount so therefore 8 times 10 is going to be equal to 80 dollars if you if you get if you're uh, paid 10 dollars per one hour how much money are you going getting paid for eight hours you're going to get paid 80 dollars for working eight hours so that is how we want to apply these concepts. Let's look at another example. Let's say your car gives you your car gives you 20 miles per gallon. MPG means miles per gallon. Your car is giving you 20 miles per gallon. gallon. If you travel for 100 miles, let's say you travel you travel for 100 miles you travel for 100 miles how many gallons of gas will you require to travel these 100 miles so what do we do let let us understand this problem and then we will try to figure out what the answer should be for 1 gallon you are able your the, your car is giving you 20 miles your car is giving you 20 miles per one gallon to travel 100 miles to travel 100 miles how many gallons of gas would you require we're going to cross multiply like what we did before so the way we can write it out is 100 miles 100 miles times one gallon divided by 20 miles divided by 20 miles so when we simplify the units the miles and the miles cancels out 20 times 1 is 20 20 times 5 is 100 so the way we want to multiply it out is 5 times 1 and therefore is equal to 5 and this will be the gallons if we are able to travel 20 miles per 1 gallon how many miles will be will we be able to travel uh, how many uh, gallons would be required to travel 100 miles we would be requiring 5 gallons to travel 100 miles so that is the way we want to be able to understand that problem let's look at another example an application problem here in here in this example uh, we want to find out we want to find the average temperature for a week. Let us say the day uh, the temperature for one week was recorded and it was as follows. The day and the temperature. Day and temperature are given to us as follows. Monday it was 60 degrees Fahrenheit Tuesday it was 65 degrees Fahrenheit Wednesday it was 70 
degrees Fahrenheit. Thursday, it was 72, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Friday, it was 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And Saturday, it was 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And Sunday, it was 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's say this is what we have the temperature recorded for seven days and what we want to find here is find we want to find the average temperature we want to find the average temperature we want to find average temperature average temperature so to do that <clears throat> what we need is this we're going to we're going to write it as a step here and the step is the average temperature average temperature I wrote it in short form we're going to add up all the temperatures for the week and then divide it by the number of days we have in a week we have seven days in a week so on Monday it was 60 degrees Fahrenheit on Tuesday it was 65 degrees Fahrenheit plus on Wednesday it was 70 degrees plus Thursday it was 72 degrees on Friday it was 73 degrees on uh, Saturday it was 80 degrees and on Sunday it was 85 degrees and then divided by seven days divided by seven days so when we take all when we add up all the day temperatures of the week and divided by the number of days we have in a week we go to get a get, get an average temperature when we add 60 plus 65 plus 70 plus 72 plus 73 plus 80 plus 85 we're going to get 505 divided by 7 so when we divide that by 7 the value what we're going to get is going to be equal to 72.14 degrees Fahrenheit or we can also round it off to 72 degrees Fahrenheit like that so the average temperature for the week was was approximately 72 degrees Fahrenheit that that is how we can come up with uh, with a solution of this kind so when when the temperatures are given to us and uh, and for a week we can add up all the temperatures and then divide it by the number of days we have in that week and then the whatever value we get that is going to be the average temperature for that particular week so th this is how we're going to uh, solve the solve application problems related to integers thank you